I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little bit burned out on crypto and I need a break. Hey everyone and welcome back. This is the Part-Time Economist and in today's video I've got quite a lot of announcements actually. Number one, why am I burned out on crypto? Number two, what is the future of the channel? And then number three, we're going to be jumping right into a tutorial on how to use Google Sheets. So I kind of gave it away here, but bottom line up front, the channel is going to be switching from a complete crypto focus to more of a, a general focus, giving you tools that you can actually use in real life. So really getting back to the foundations of the part-time economist, um, where we're not just crypto, crypto, crypto yes crypto will play a part in the channel but it's not going to be the central driving force as it has for the past two years so why am i burned out on crypto well I've been in crypto for about three years, which doesn't sound like a long time, but when you consider how quickly cryptocurrency cycles take place, it's a very long time. I've seen the same scams. I've seen the same cryptocurrency projects that promise to change the world, and then the founders run off with the funds, right? I've seen the same stuff over and over, and it's not that I think crypto's bad, right? I'm not saying, oh, don't do anything with crypto, right? I'm just saying that I personally need a break. And that actually gets back to the foundations of the part-time economist as a YouTube channel, because when I first started, I would do book reviews. I would teach people how to make their own bread, how to shine their boots, right, for their army inspections. So um, crypto is something that obviously we're going to still talk about, but it's not going to be the focus. I want to rather show you tools, things that you can use. So we're going to be working more on tech in general, right? So spreadsheets, maybe we'll do some stuff with the Python programming language. I can do audio editing, video editing, whatever you all want to see, just let me know because I feel sometimes with crypto, it can get a little bit demoralizing, right? When we see what crypto could do, what its potential is, and then we see how it is in actuality. And, you know, we just can sit there and maybe it goes up, maybe it goes down, but we can't really do anything about it. Whereas with skills, right? Audio editing, video editing, spreadsheets. You can use that in your own life. You can use it as a marketable skill. Um, so it's a little bit more empowering in my opinion. And that's really what I want to be focusing on. So with that being said, this first video is going to be a complete, complete basics to Google Sheets. So if you already know the basics of Google Sheets, uh, probably don't need to stick around for the rest of the video. But if you were completely getting started, if you have no idea what Google Sheets are, what a spreadsheet in general is, or you don't even know that you need uh, Google Sheets, I will show you in this video some of the very basics. So for those of you who do not know, Google Sheets is very similar to a Microsoft Excel with one huge exception. It is free, right? And I say free in quotes because, of course, nothing is free, um, but it is free to use. If you have a Google account, all you have to do is go to google.com forward slash sheets. You can sign up. You can go ahead and start working with these spreadsheets, which when I was in college, I had Excel that came through uh, through my university. My hard drive died. I lost it. So since then, I have never paid um, for Excel. I've always used free and open source alternatives or in this case, uh, Google Sheets here. So for someone that's looking to try and save money, not a bad option. So with that being said, again, this is the very, 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 very basics of Google Sheets. So why would we use a spreadsheet in the first place? A spreadsheet is great for keeping track of data automating a little bit of data processing tasks, and really just organizing things. So let's use an example here. And you could apply this to anything. I'm going to use the example of cryptocurrency, but you could just as easily apply this to being a grocery store owner or a mechanic shop, right? It's the, uh, the same the same steps, just different applications. So let's suppose that I have the Ethereum cryptocurrency, I've got basic attention token, and I've got Bitcoin. And I have these cryptocurrencies and I want to know how much are they worth, right? Now, think about how I could calculate the worth of my cryptocurrency. Let's suppose I've got 1.5 Ethereum, I've got half a Bitcoin, and I've got 20 basic attention tokens. Every single day I could get out my phone, I could do my calculator and say 1.5 Ethereum times the price of Ethereum. 0.5 Bitcoin, this needs to be Bitcoin. If I had 20 Bitcoin, uh, I would be rich. Um, so let's go ahead and change that. So what we're doing here is we are 
we're automating some of this, right? We're making this easier for ourselves. So instead of having to do the same calculations every single day, we're going to build a spreadsheet that's going to automatically calculate this for us. So we've got our cryptocurrency. We've got we don't know what this is because we don't have a header. We don't have any kind of a label. So before we even start entering prices, the first thing we want to do is we want to add a header. And what a header does is it tells us this is what this column represents. So this will be the coin, this will be the amount, and then this will be the price. So now when we add all this stuff in, we will know uh, what we are looking at. So first up, we've got basic attention token. It looks like we're just going to go to uh, two decimal places here. So 0.81, let's go ahead and put that in there. So 0.81, let's go ahead and find the price of Bitcoin. We're going to call it 41449. So we'll go ahead and put that in there, 41449. And then we also want to go and we want to find Ethereum, which is going to be 2866. So we've got 2866. Cool. We've got the amount, we've got the price, but how much is each of these worth? We don't know till we actually calculate it. So we're going to add another column and this is going to be called value. And for value, we simply want to multiply these together. And you're thinking, hey, I can do the same thing with a calculator. Why am I going through all this trouble of using Google Sheets? Well, the reason we're doing it with Google Sheets, you will see very shortly. Um, so in order to do this calculation, we can't we, we have to let Google Sheets know, hey, you're looking for a function. You're looking for a calculation. So what we do is we come up here to this bar, and you can remember it because it says FX, right? That's kind of mathematics for function. We're going to hit Enter, and then we're going to select this cell. So this is telling Google Sheets, look at this cell. I want you to look here, but we need to tell it what we want to do with that cell. So the operation that we're going to do is multiply. Okay, we've got, I'm looking here. I want to multiply. What am I multiplying by? Well, you're going to multiply it by this cell. And the cool thing, see, this is why we use Google Sheets instead of a calculator. It automatically suggests to fill the rest of these as well. So if you've got 20 or 30 or 40 cryptocurrencies or you're a grocery store and you've got a thousand different products, you just enter this formula once and it automatically applies it. So what we see is it takes the amount times the price and gives us a value. Pretty cool, but uh, now we've just got to go and add all of these up as well, right? No, with Google Sheets, again, we can make this really easy. So T-O-T-A-L for total. All we're going to do is we're going to click on this empty cell. And what do we want to do? We want to add them. Adding is a function. So we're going to come back up here. And now if you knew the command was SUM, you could find that. But let's suppose you didn't have that memorized. What else could you do? Well, this is why I like Google Sheets. If you want Google Sheets to do something and you're not sure how to do it, you come up here to this uh, summation function and it will give you some of the most frequent functions. Now they've got a ton that are more powerful that we can get into later, but for now we're just going to go with sum and we just have to select all of these cells that we want and it's going to say this is your total. Now that works, but it's not really pretty. We don't exactly know what's going on here. So let's tidy this up, make it look a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and first off what we want to do is we don't I mean, is this 25,000? Is this 250,000? It's hard because we don't have any commas, any decimals, any dollar signs. So what we want to do is we want to format these cells to show as currency. So, hmm, how do we do that? We can select these, but if we go down, we get this cell and we don't want that. Well, what we can do, we select them all. And then if we just want to pick one additional cell, we can go with control and then click on it. And what we want to do now is we want to go to a format. It's going to be a number and we want to format that as currency. Now, it's got a couple different options for us. We can round off the currency, but just for our purposes, let's do standard currency to two decimal places. So much easier to read because now we've got our comma. We know that's $25,039.70. So pretty cool. It's a lot more intuitive now. It's a lot easier to read. Um, but again, we can still spice this up a little bit more. So it's kind of crowded together here. And we know we've got coin, we've got amount, we've got price, we've got value. But if we're just looking at this, what does this represent? What is 
the headers tell us what each column represents, but we don't have anything that tells us what the entire uh, spreadsheet represents. So what we want to do is we want to add a title. And if you need more room here, you can come and right click, insert one row above, just to give us a little bit more space. So let's do crypto, C-R-Y-P-T-O, V-L-U-E, and that's fine. We could put crypto value tracker, whatever we wanted. Now, to make this look pretty, we want this to stretch across the entire chart. So we can do that, but it just copies this, which is not what we want. So we're going to come to merge cells, and it's going to say merging these cells will only preserve the leftmost value. Do we want to do that? Of course we do. And it puts it right in the middle. Now, in the event, sometimes what it'll do is it'll stick it on the left side. We don't want that. If we want it in the middle, we come to the drop down, we align center. So far, okay, this is looking a little bit better. Maybe we want a little bit of space in here. So we're going to right click, insert one row above, and that's going to push this down a little bit. Let's go ahead and add a border to make, again, let's make this a little bit prettier here. Let's add a border around this cell by going to borders. And do you want an outside border, an inside border? Well, we want that entire thing to be bordered. Ah, that red, it's, it's so bright. We don't want it to be red. Well, we can go ahead and we can change the color using this icon here. So we've got that. And then let's go ahead and put the rest of this inside a border as well. But what we're going to do is we're just going to do um, inner borders, right? And then let's put the entire chart inside of an outer border that is going to be, let's go with black for this. We've got the entire chart there in a border. And of course, if we didn't want those borders, like, why are they there? We want this to be blank space. We can go ahead and we can set that to um, clear that border out. So that's a couple different things we can do with the borders. But now what I really want to show you is why are we using this spreadsheet? The cool thing is that whenever a value change, whenever this price changes, we can simply come in here and we can change the price and it's automatically going to recalculate the entire value for us. We don't have to go back through and do all of this manually. Now, in an upcoming video, I will show you how to actually pull that data directly from the website. So with this, if we've got 100 different cryptocurrencies, yes, we don't have to do multiplication 100 times, but we still have to go through and enter 100 times the price. We've got to manually go to CoinMarketCap, pull our price, enter it in the spreadsheet. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how to automatically pull that. So you can just open up your spreadsheet and it's automatically going to pull those prices for you. But I think this was a great first video. I would like to thank you for joining. And then again, let me know what you think about the future of the channel. If you want to see Google Sheets, you want to see programming, um, primarily work with Python as far as programming. I don't have a lot of experience with other languages. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you all want to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.